Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to explore the subtle differences between how we express the angles when they are compared to one another. Sometimes we use the word equal, sometimes we use the word congruent. The question is, when do we use what word and how is the word used or how are those two words used? So here we have two pairs of angles. We have angle A and B and angle C and D. Now, the measure of the angle A is equal to the measure of the angle B, and that's indicated by the single line in each case. That's an indication that those two angles have the same measure. And here we have a slightly different symbol. We draw two little arcs that shows that these two do not have the same angle measure as these two, but that the angle measure of C is equal to the ang angle measure of D. So when do we say that the angles are congruent, and when do we use the word equal? Well, when the angle measures are equal, we write the measure of the angle A is equal to the measure of the angle B, then we use the word is equal to. So the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B. When do we use congruent? When we simply compare the two angles, we understand that their angle measures are equal, but we simply write that the angle of A is congruent to the angle of B. What's the difference? Well, it all comes down to these two sentences. If we have two angles, and those two angles are congruent, that then implies that their angle measures are equal. So when we say that two angles are congruent, that simply means that their angle measures are equal. And if the angle measures are equal, then the two angles are congruent. So we use the word congruent when we say that we have two similar angles. They have the same angle measure. They are congruent. So when we apply that to just talking about the angles, we use the word congruent. If we use the comparison in terms of the angle measures, then we use the word equal. And that's the difference. If we're looking at comparing the angle measures, we use the word equal. If we're simply comparing the angles, then we use the word congruent. Essentially, we're saying the same thing. Just make sure you understand the subtle difference between them.